right, in this first clip here, we're looking at a goaltender for Alvinston. we got a point shot, misses the net, pretty substantially wide. And there's a teachable moment here. We have to know our limits. We have to know where the net is. We have to know where the personnel is. And on this play here, this puck's really wide. And reaching over, you can almost put it back in your own net. Nothing to be gained by whacking that puck there. Just let it go. Know your limits. All right, we got another D zone situation. Puck set up. Puck comes in from the point, banks off his own D, almost eats him up. And we got a little scramble chaos going on down in the reverse, pop out rebound, and then finishes with an amazing windmill save. But let's take a look at a couple things here, some teachable moments. He's looking around screens, he's assessing personnel, and because of his depth at the top of the crease, even if that puck does deflect on that, it likely isn't going to go in. He has good puck vision through the net in the RVH, seals, recognizes tight centering pass, gets square, pop-up rebound, tracks it well, and then has great athleticism to reposition over to make a windmill glove save to complete the sequence. Awesome job. All right. You got a zone entry, shot from the wing, greasy pad rebound, almost bit it. But let's take a look here. At the blue line, here's what we got. Two on two with good backside pressure. Puck goes to the Y guy who shoots from the wing. D, for some reason, wants to put his stick in it. And then the puck gets put out in front. Because of the potential for tip, you couldn't use stick involvement. Not much you can do. Good battle. All right. Here we got another line rush. Two on two with a lot of width to the two on two. They weren't very tight together. It would have been hard to get a pass across to it. But here's some reads we need to make. This is getting in the blue line, and now when we take a look here, you want to know the guy off the puck is a lefty because that'll help you with your decision-making later. Does a RVH paddle, gets over to try to break up the pass and protect his limits, tracks the puck well and smothers and prevents a chaos goal. Nice job. All right, we've got another little zone set up here. Dangerous backdoor shot, taken off the chest, great covering up hunger. He does some great things here and some things we want to look at. He detaches from the post with calmness. I don't think he knows there's a backdoor guy there and what hand he is. He certainly doesn't know that. Puck's almost to the receiver and he still hasn't moved, but his quickness allows him to take the puck off the chest. And because of the squareness, the puck jumps to the side. If he played a pan to here, that would have went into the slot. All right, we got a defensive zone faceoff. Left-handed attacker. Puck doesn't get out, should have got out. And the chaos that ensues because of that causes very dangerous scoring chance. We're going to talk about some of the good things that happens here in the chaos and some of the things I'd suggest you address in your game to make this a little safer and simpler play. He looks around the puck well, but he's got no idea that guy's open on the back door. Let's break it down here. First thing. At the defensive zone faceoff, always tell yourself what hand the centerman is for the other team. Your forward doesn't get the puck out, so it stays in. Here's some good things he does. He looks off the puck several times to see what's happening in front. Smart goalie on this regard. Pretty agile in the RVH, but he's in chaos now, and he's battling and swimming left to right. A lot of unnecessary movement, a little lack of control. Now as this play rotates down here, here's a critical read. He's completely unaware of the backdoor guy, gets a late jump on it, and thankfully gets away with it. I absolutely love this goaltender's athleticism. He battles, he competes, he just makes a, a job of getting in front of that puck. And here we're going to see something pretty cool that he does. This play comes down in front, and on the swing, he doesn't shoot it immediately, he holds it. And this goaltender rises up to take away that aerial angle. Great battle. I felt bad for this goaltender most of the game because his defensive zone coverage was horrible. And the defense, unbelievably weak. Look at this play at the blue line. Two on two with numbers. D just does a flyby. Now a dangerous backdoor feed. He battles. He gets a better jump on this one. Takes it off the chest. Pushes it away with a blocker. What an amazing save. Huge save. All right, defensive zone set up, tipped point shot, rebound goal through the armpit. A couple things to talk about here. 
on this point shot, he tries to look inside and then outside. He gets caught looking. However, he makes a great save on the point shot that was tipped, but the rebound gets through his armpit. You got to make sure here you deny access. Nothing through you, nothing underneath you. Pretty routine play here. Buckers on a poor angle, shoots, gets the crossbar. But let's take a look at some positioning issues. It's just a turnover at the blue line by the defense, bites it. And then when Bucky shoots from right here, he's got no passing option, so he's 100% a shooter. The goalie grabs white ice, great depth, makes sure there's no short side option, forces the guy wide, and makes a nice routine save on a very dangerous play. How would you like to have your own personal NHL goalie coach? I created the Mentor Program 25 years ago and recently the eMentor Program where you can have your own NHL goalie coach regardless of where you live on the planet. Here are some cool details. With our eMentor Program, it's a comprehensive program that's done remotely. We do video analysis where I look at your clips that you send me of your games to show what you're doing right and some corrective things if we need to make some mistake corrections, puck handling touches, rebound control, goals against, saves, and we distill it down and say, listen, here's what you're doing well, here's what you gotta fix, and you get your own NHL goalie coach to correct your mistakes for you and send you on the right path. With the eMentor program, I also function as a family advisor, helping you set up team tryouts, getting you placed where you need to be placed, and getting you to a level where you deserve to be, reaching out to my vast network of contacts that I've accumulated over all these years playing, coaching, and scouting in the NHL. It's the best way to get your kid where he needs to be, where they deserve to be. Another thing with the eMentor program is it's a 24-7 resource for the parents. A lot of times parents don't know the pathway, they don't know how to manage the situation their kid's in, and with the eMentor program, the parents get to leverage my experience and expertise in these areas. So, another great feature of the eMentor program is 24-7 consulting with the GOAT. In the eMentor program, we look at nutrition. We do a detailed analysis of your caloric intake, and we get you on a, a program with our certified nutritionist to make sure you're eating like a professional. With a sports car, an elite exotic car, it needs special fuel to function at its best. And as an elite athlete, you're no different. We teach you how to eat properly and become the Ferrari and Lamborghini of goaltending that you wanna be. We also look at your off-ice training. Are you doing the things you need to do to be the most powerful, explosive, dynamic, athletic kid? Which is what we look for when we're scouting. We take you and we assess where your fitness level currently is, and we put you on a program that's age-specific and position-specific, so you can become the best physical goaltender you can be with the attributes you possess. Another key feature of the eMentor program is homework. Homework? You want more homework? Yes, you do. Because to become a great goalie, you can't be a driving range goalie. A lot of goalies do lessons. They look good in a structured environment. But you know what? We need to teach you how to read the play, connect the dots, and be a critical thinker. And we do that with homework. I assign games for you to watch. There's a script. There's a diary we create where you assess scoring chances and puck handling touch for cause and effect. What hand was the guy? What was the read the goalie made with their depth? We teach you how to play the game in the eMentor program. So don't let your career end by being the best looking, best moving goalie in the beer leagues. Take your skill set and apply your critical game reads that we teach you so that you can play at the highest possible level that you can. Mm -hmm.